you know, there's something that's been going on in America that for generations now that I think is very harmful to families and passing down the values of the parents to the children. A huge uh, a huge part of why we as a people have become so fragmented and our families are so divided. And that is the concept that the man of the house has to go off and work away from the family all day along with the mother leaving the children in child care now when I was a child the father could make enough on his own so that the mother could stay and raise the children that didn't always cure the issue because many times such as in my case the woman I married didn't share the same values as I, so it was basically like leaving my children with a babysitter. I asked my, at least my second wife, not to leave the children sitting in front of the television as a babysitter. She ignored me, of course, and told me she was going to ignore me. Uh, nor did she feel inclined to pass on any values that I had to the children because, after all, I was gone all day trying to make a living to pay for everything. Now, I didn't, I'm not recording this to just, you know, bitch about my problems because, quite frankly, I think this is a problem with a lot more people than just myself. In the pioneer days, back in the days when farming was the main event, whole families worked together. Fathers were always around. They were the authority figure in, in children's lives. They taught them values. They taught them the value of hard work, honesty, integrity. The mother was there to support the husband, take care of the house and the dinner, sometimes even going out and working in the farm. Families had their own peculiar values, their own peculiar way of doing things, but they were together. Children learned respect. They built their character. There are exceptions to every rule. There are there are families that were dysfunctional. And not all families were on farms. There were families in the cities. And in that case, often, at least in the nineteenth century, the children often were out working with the dad and the mom. don't know as much about the urban side in the 19th century as I do the farming side. And not every scene was idyllic. There were problems. There was fights and misunderstandings in families that go back to ancient times. And as long as human beings have been living with one another, that will never change. Now, but now that we're going into the American resistance, we're finding ourselves at a place where we need to fight another revolution to free ourselves. Uh, it comes to mind because our children need to learn how to fight just like us. There is no place for them to sit in the background. The battlefields are going to be on our home turf. Our children, at least the ones old enough to understand, they need to contribute. 
if it's loading magazines, um, carrying supplies, spying. Oh, kids are great little spies. They just go out there and act like they're playing. And if they're trained well, they can learn how to pick up information to pass on to mom and dad. We need to work as family units again. It's a little late for me. My kids are all grown and they basically adopted the socialist values of their mother. Mothers. I've had two marriages. Five children. But those of you that are still raising your children and doing it right, man, I applaud you. It's a tough thing to do in this day and age. Eke out a piece of ground, keep the family together. Yeah. You guys that are pulling that off, kudos. Because there ain't nothing more valuable than passing on good values to our children. Yeah, I saw a meme recently with a young lady, must have been 10 or 12, breaking down an automatic pistol, putting it back together. I'm sure daddy timed her. Here comes my lady. At least I think so. Anyway, I'm here sitting there waiting for my lady to show up. And would like to uh, just pass that on. Everybody can contribute. Children aren't useless idiots. They're not just in the way, and they should never be made to feel that they are. Teach them. They're quite resilient. And it may just help the family survive. Billy. I don't care if they're eight years old. <laughs> when I was an eight-year-old boy, my um, my imagination went nuts. Had I give, been given the opportunity and the incentive, the world was my oyster. Let your kids actually fulfill their dreams. And I'll tell you what, most kids that love their parents, their biggest dream is making mom and dad happy and being encouraged to be the best that they can be. So, let them do it.